Until the very end, those with Occupy Salt Lake stayed on point with their message. We stand in solidarity. Our currency, our health, and our dreams have been privatized by people who wish to have the whole world in their portfolio. But by sundown Saturday, Salt Lake Police Chief Chris Burbank was on scene reinforcing the city's stance on this tenth city. The park will be clear of tents and people. The chief said he hoped it would happen peacefully, but was prepared to use force. And right on cue, dozens of officers from two police agencies descended on Pioneer Park. This is what a police state looks like! And it didn't take long for Occupy supporters to be arrested. We are the 99%! Late Saturday afternoon, the city said they'd reached a compromise with the Occupy group, allowing them one building and a 24-hour presence in Pioneer Park. But the tents had to go. We are supportive of people expressing themselves and their free speech rights. All we're doing is imposing a time restriction on that because of the circumstances so that camping is not allowed. We are being forci forcibly evicted by the police uh, after a 36-hour notice. A leading voice of Occupy Salt Lake claims the compromise is a crock. Our rights to assembly, which are embodied in the First Amendment, are uh, still being violated. Uh, our forefathers are speaking to us, telling us that this is what assembly looks like. Not being able to camp here severely limits the ability of us to keep our coalition together. A short time later, Jesse Frewer joined some of his other coalition members in being hauled off to jail for refusing to leave Pioneer Park.